To make this adorable bell, we are going to be using two plastic bowls from Dollar Tree. They're a little on the larger side and they were both red. They actually had them in red and white and I chose the red since I was going to be painting it red anyways. I went ahead and used my heat gun to remove the stickers off the bottom and then I'm using Walmart's chalk paint in ruby to paint both of the bowls. So I'm just giving them both a quick coat and then I'm gonna let them dry. Next, I'm using this round mirror that I also got at Dollar Tree. And we are going to start by painting it with some apple barrel paint. It's a multi-surface paint and it's called granite. I'm painting the front and the back of the mirror. You don't have to paint up close to the actual mirror like I did because that part's not gonna show, but you do need to make sure you get the side, the bottom, as well as part of the front. Now I have a little aluminum or like a metal bucket. It's kind of a mini bucket. I took the handle off and I cut off the little holders for the handle so that it's nice and flat on the top. And now I'm just painting that with the same granite color as I did the mirror. And now I'm gonna get a little ring. This is just a little ring that I had lying around. It's about the same size as a shower curtain ring. So I feel like something like that would work great. This is actually a wooden ring though, and it's got a little eyelet that's drilled or like screwed through it, which I think made the project easier to put together. After everything has dried, I'm gonna put a second coat of everything on or at least a second coat of the red on to the red bowls. Now I'm going to do a second coat of the gray onto the little aluminum or metal bucket. And I'm not going to do a second coat of gray onto the mirror. The reason why I did the gray is because I needed something that was going to act as sort of a primer so the paint would actually stick to it. And so that's the reason why I used that multi-surface gray. You could also use a gray chalk paint or an actual primer of some sort. And then I'm going over it with a silver metallic or like a gray metallic paint. And this is just acrylic paint from Apple Barrel. I'm also coating the ring in the metallic as well. I'm not doing a second coat of the gray on the ring either. Now we're going to make the holes on the bottom of the bell. So instead of actually cutting holes into the plastic bowls, which would be pretty hard, I am making myself a little 
a stencil and I'm just using painters tape and I just took a round button and traced it and then I just made sort of threw it on there and then I'm using a knife a utility knife to just cut it out once I have it cut out you'll be able to see the shape that I made almost like a keyhole kind of a shape and so I remove the inside part and I'm using the outside And then I'm going to do a second coat arrangement. So I'm just going to, after I do this one, I'm going to pull this one off and I'm going to flip it and put it on the other side. So again, with the round part being towards the top of the bowl. You can make this as big or as little as you want it to be. You can make the circle even bigger. You could use two pieces of tape put together or an even wider piece of tape to do this. The main thing is you wanna make sure it's not longer than the height of your bowl. After you have all of the little pieces painted, you're gonna start to glue things together. So you're just gonna use your E6000. And I just did this in different time periods. So I did glue two pieces together and then I just let it dry. And then I came back and glued the other two pieces together and let it dry and just glued just glued it separately so that it had really good amount of time to dry for some reason i lost that part of the video so i had to just explain that so you can see how i've got two pieces here that are glued together now i'm just gluing it all together so the top to the bottom and so i'm just gluing that top piece right onto the mirror and now i'm going to add a little bit of detail to it so I'm taking a chip brush and some black paint, some black chalk paint, and I'm just dry brushing all over this ornament, or I'm sorry, this bell. So I'm just taking the paint and my dry brush and I'm starting by going over all of this silver parts. And then after I get that done, I'm gonna go over the red and you can see that I never pick up any more paint. I just am using the paint that is on my brush. I'm just really all over the ornament. After I finish with the black, I'm just taking a little bit of brown. This is called Milk Chocolate by Apple Barrel. I'm using the same brush and I'm just adding a little bit of brown to my brush and I'm just adding rust spots just kind of all over. I'm just stippling them on wherever I kind of feel like I like it. I don't really add any more brown paint. I just sort of put it in spots kind of all over. Now I'm gonna take some greenery. This is just some Dollar Tree greenery. And I'm gonna put just a few sprigs on each side. And then we're gonna add a bow.
So now I'm gonna take some two and a half inch wide wired buffalo plaid ribbon and make a four loop fluffy bow. If you are unsure how to make this type of bow, please check out my page, The Celebration Company, and find the bow tutorial, and you will learn how to make a bow like this. After I get it all formed, I'm just gonna take a pipe cleaner and stick it through, tie it really tight, cut off the excess, and then I'm just gonna hot glue this bow to the front of this cute little bell. And I'm telling you, this turned out so stinking cute for just a few dollars with some Dollar Tree products, y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this project. It's super fun and I hope you'll give it a try.